Now, I didn't pick the name Flesh Weasel because of, like, some freaky euphemism for, like, a penis or whatever. Like, everyone seems to act, or at least a lot of people do. It was because of a Frank Zappa album. Anyway, why are we talking about this? We clearly just killed... What's the Frank Zappa album? It's called, it it's called Weasels Ripped My Flesh. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I'm not even going to ask... <laughs> in relation to that one man's magazine cover thing um maybe but like, i'm not, I'm not sure why we're talking about this when we just came through the portal after defeating the the dark lord mephisto or whatever he was demon lord oh thank you well like why <laughs> are we hatred. here what is the meaning of this i guess i'll let Tyrion talk or something it is good to see you again hero mephisto's defeat is a great victory for the light I knew that you would eventually find your way here. The Pandemonium Fortress is the last bastion of Heaven's power before the gates of the Burning Hells. This place has been hallowed by the blood of thousands of champions of the Light, many of whom were mortal like yourself. Now the final battle against the Prime Evils draws near, and you must face it alone. I have been forbidden to aid you directly, save for a few bits of wisdom. For this is the hour of mortal man's triumph. Your triumph. May the light protect you, and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. Okay, okay. That's all the talking that I can handle. Hey. What's cool about this chapter is that it's short and it's sweet and it's tightly compressed and it's like, here's your armor, motherfucker. Here's your, here's your items, motherfucker. And we're out on our way. Here's the steps. Here's your weapons. I don't have we're any. literally in hell. There's not much more to say. Yeah, although it is somewhat of a foreign land to me at least. <laughs> somewhat, he says. Somewhat. What is the deal with this place we're at right now? What's these people tied up on the sticks and whatnot? It's hell. These people are being tortured. Ah, <sighs> I guess. <laughs> what they're the not fuck people, did you expect they're souls. Me to say? They're souls. They're. I don't. I don't really claim to understand any of this horse pucky. <laughs> <laughs> Blade so, toilets. Anyway, the place we just left is actually reasonably interesting. Pandemonium Fortress was or is the last outpost of heaven, as uh, Tyrael puts it. It was constructed during the earlier phases of the Sin War, when the Primes were still in control. And um, they were doing a pretty bad job of things, really. There was, there was a big civil war among the, among the, among the demon lords. So, you know, Heaven was battering down the gates, as Lazarus puts it in one of his books in Diablo 1. Mm. I mean, it seems to me more like the upscale suburb on the hill, where it's like everyone down here is in shitville. Dude, and, you know, Tyrael hangs out up there. Any place he's not immediately qualifies as shitville. In the whole world? In all of the planes. I mean, if you're hanging out with Tyrael, shit can't possibly be that bad. Hmm. Evidently, you have Well, I'll Diablo keep looking three. out for the Cribs episode. Hey, fuck you. I've gotten, through the I've gotten through the first act, so I know what happens, and no, I'm not going to spoil it here. But I will say, bro fist that shit forever. <laughs> I will say, I have made it past that. where the beta ended, but just barely. Because I, I, just, I just sort of stopped following it about a year or two ago. It wasn't really <laughs> still. That's good. So it's sort of lost hope. Probably for the best. God, this fucking creep crawler or whatever isn't dying too snow, easy. If you want it. Yeah, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna start scouting around here for the uh, for the exit to this place. That's the way. That's that's my way of playing Diablo 2 these days, I guess. There must have been some point where I was content to explore every nook and cranny, but far from it now. I'm like, where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? Diablo 2 way more than the first. Because the first is more like a... It's more like a scrounger, creepy, crawly, you know, gather up everything you can. There's so few potion drops and stuff. And this is more like, you know, skip to the good parts Shit, and redo as them. As you can. <laughs> Got it. Stairs. Okay, I'll, wow. I'll catch I, up. Fuck, I'm out, I'm out of mana potions. 
Uh, it was right next to the stairs. Me. God, my, my beach stuff Dude. is so glitchy. Thank God I've got frozen orb now. Oh, here's the Jesus. guy. Oh, we're looking for this guy. He's like a quest guy. He's all... He's really sad or something because maybe he was fallen angel or something. Have you heard of this concept? Oh, shit. Izzel. A fallen yeah. angel? Izzel. Izzel, also known oh, as Iz. He, uh, he has the... Also known as what? He has the distinction. Iz. Just... That, that's his, uh... <laughs> oh. That's his... That's his abbreviation. Okay. Is has the distinction of having one of the most having some of the most HP in the entire game, even though his uh, his attacks are almost completely worthless. Anyway, I'll let you talk to him now and continue explaining him later. A good idea. Tyrion was a fool to have trusted me. You see, it was I who told Diablo and his brothers about the Soul Stones and how to corrupt them. It was I who helped the Prime Evils mastermind their own exile to your world. The plan we set in motion so long ago cannot be stopped by any mortal agency. Hell itself is poised to spill forth into your world like a tidal wave of blood and nightmares. You and all your kind are doomed. I'm. Um, I have no context for what he's talking about. Just... I do. Go. Go ahead and talk to Tyrael and let Tyrael say uh, say his piece, and I'll explain Thank as much as I can. For putting Israel's Thank you, hero. Tears to skill points. May the light protect you, and the powers of heaven shine upon your path. So that's if why you I tell me is true. Then I fear that we have been played for fools all along. Iswal helped Diablo and his brothers trick me into using the soul stones against them. Now the stone's powers are corrupted. The combined powers of the soul stones under their control, the prime evils will be able to turn the mortal world into a permanent outpost of hell. I, I, it's, I'm still really reaching its straws. Okay, so here's the thing. Izuul used to be one of Tyrael's lieutenants, one of his best lieutenants, but Izuul was a little bit eager to do things that Tyrael didn't think was a good idea. So one of the things that he did was run out... Here, here let, let's get back onto the Plains of Despair. Yeah, Everybody we need now. to roll while we're doing this. Um, Izuul led an attack on the Hellforge, which was a really bad a bad idea because it got him captured and twisted into what we just killed. Um, while he was captured, uh, th this is, I, I should mention that you know the chronology of some uh, some of this gets uh, gets weird. So you know I might not be a hundred percent right about the chronology here. But while he was captured, he helped. He helped the Prime Evils come up with the plans for their Dark Exile and how to corrupt the Soul Stones that Tyrael would, uh, would use to trap them. This is what brought them to Sanctuary in the first place and what got around the treaty that uh, they had. Basically, the treaty was that neither Heaven nor Hell would interfere directly in the, in the, use, of, in the use of Sanctuary. Well... They didn't really. They were brought. Uh, they were brought there, and they corrupted people. So they were possessing people, and it wasn't direct intervention, even though it constitutes that. So I mean, it sounds like they're kidding themselves, not anyone else, really. Oh yeah, I mean, they're, they're basically kidding the angels because Imperius still uh, still believes that you know the burning hells have basically abided by the contract. But of course, Imperius is a dick who wanted to destroy who wanted to destroy it in the first place. Tyrael is actually breaking a lot of laws by uh, by helping out us humans directly. I'm not sure we ever see Imperius in this game either. We do not see Imperius in this game or, as a matter of fact, any of the other Archangels. The, we'll only run up against one other, one other angel in this act and indeed the rest of the game. Hmm. I mean, that's kind of odd considering the Pandemonium Fortress being the last outpost. You'd think they'd sort of all not really have a lot of other spots to go. Well, it's the last outpost in hell. I mean, so, let's be... Okay, so it's not like one big realm. There's like, we went to hell and not to heaven. Right. There, there are two... The, the high heavens and the burning hells are two completely different realms. Right. So, is there an outpost of hell in the high heavens? 
I don't know. We've never seen the high heavens. No one. I mean, I guess it's never been in the game. Which it's never been in any of the games, to my knowledge. To at, at the time of this recording, I've only gotten about halfway through Act Two in in Diablo Three. It's still possible that it's in Diablo Three, to my knowledge. I don't think it is. I think people. I think I would have heard people talking about that by this point. Well, there was always uh, Diablo Four. You probably yeah yeah, yeah and after yeah, another ten goddamn years. years. Yeah. Well, I've seen a certain and secret level in Diablo 3, and I think that actually might be the high heavens, if you know what I'm talking no, about. No, I'm familiar Depending on who with... you ask, it might be. I'm familiar, <gasps> with the, uh, I'm familiar with the secret level you're talking it's about. That is, that is a very cruel joke that the, uh, the, <laughs> that the, um... You don't think they're actually into it themselves? Oh no, no. Well, ba basically, basically, when the first couple of screenshots came out, and there was a huge spurge fest over how it wasn't dark enough and how it was going to be all rainbows and My Little Ponies, they, the uh, developers, ba basically said, "You guys are idiots. It's not going to be like that." And that secret level is a take on that joke. How it's how this is how Diablo Three was was going to be if you listen to uh, to those spurge lords. Yes. I just think they handled that pretty well. Like they poked fun of themselves a bit with it, but they still. Well, yeah, it's respectful. exactly like the cows. It's based on this community response. I mean, the yeah. the cow level is this rumor from Diablo One that they're like, all right, let's humor these idiots. What is the cow level? Never mind, that doesn't exist. What am I talking about? Why uh, is this only uh, a ten-year-old uh, game? Uh, 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 uh. Hey, remember yeah, when we were clicking on the cows in Diablo 1? Remember that video? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that never came out to anything. Alright, here's the waypoint. Let's just continue on. Welcome to the River of Flame. I hope you didn't like your eyes, because they're burned out now. <laughs> That's actually very troubling. I'm really glad that I'm wearing Bigot's... Biggin's... Bigot's bonnet? <laughs> 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 Bigot's bonnet is a clan hood. Hey man, we we can't. The reason we don't have any any paladins in this party is because of your bonnet. It just doesn't like black people. <laughs> Ouch! Bigot's bonnet. What what bonuses does it give? <laughs> I don't know. There is a Pride is not a stat in this game. Perhaps for the best. I think he's a maiden javelin. I don't know what. Are I mean, you a maiden? Are you, yeah. Sometimes. You know what I've been oh. I've been thinking a whole lot about lately is how John Travolta. Um, they said that he's a crossdresser, and you know I basically am a little bit upset because uh, I just don't think it's anyone else's business. You know well, because really? he's. He's a serious man who's made a living. You know he's worked hard and he's just trying to, you know. Maybe bring a little spice back into his marriage. I don't know, but uh, he's the one who's got to live with himself. You know, I might be biased because this one dude that I've known for ten years recently began his, I quote, true life experience as a woman. But uh, you know what? Fine, whatever. I, I'm, I don't have to wake up with John Travolta in the morning. John Travolta has to wake up with John Travolta in the morning. And John Travolta re probably refers to himself in the third person too, which is just great. <laughs> <laughs> does he call himself John Travolta? He's like, look, you don't have to wake up with John Travolta in the morning. John Travolta has to wake up with John Travolta. Like, okay, dude. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time killing these Urdar. I never even noticed their name before. Yo, over here. Oh, I, I've got, I've got the Hellforge. Oh, what's a Hellforge? That would be where Izuul found, uh, found himself getting damned. Oh, yikes! It's, it's where. It's it's where it's where the greatest it's where the greatest weapons of hell are forged. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to contend with the um with the smith. Wasn't the hell forge in Diablo one or something though? Uh, in in I think it was planned as part of something in Inferno, but I never really played Inferno, so I'm having difficulty telling you for sure. You mean Hellfire? Hellfire, yes, that's yeah. what I meant. It it, that wasn't in Hellfire. The Anvil of Fury was in normal Diablo 2, and that's how you get Grizzled's Edge. Oh, okay. I think it's, like, related somehow in the way it works. I don't know. But, like, I think Grizzled says it's from the Hellforge. Yeah, he's like, like it's from the Buttered Hellforge! Something like that. 
<laughs> what weapons of great fury! I Looks know. like I was wrong. I thought for sure Hephaesto would be over here. Yeah, I think it tends oh, to be. Here it is. What? How the fuck? Uh, up and left. Up and left. Up and left. Okay. Up and where? First. Where the fuck are uh, you? North. Do some isometric shit. Isometric up left, which north means. West. Yeah. I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, quest log. Log. Uh oh, it's how fast. Whoa, I'm surrounded. I might die right now. Holy fuck. I'm using my full regens. Please help me. <laughs> this is unreasonable. These guys are what the fuck? The that was so fucked up. I teleported up. out there and I'm trying my best to save you. That was so ridiculous. I'm that was... popping so many blue potions right <laughs> if now. If that was hardcore, god damn, dude. That was so funny. I just panicked. I didn't even, like, drop traps. Guy. First responder, right here. Nice. Down he goes. I don't know, some, I'll take the health for a me after this. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> all right. Such shitty damage. I'm like stuck here with all these guys. And wait, what do I have? Wait, a um, I think I. Frozen orb rules. I need to go snag my soul stone so I can smack it. There we go. Here we are. So yeah, Hephaisto the Armor. Not too much to say about him. He's a brother to the Smith in Act One and the Butcher in Diablo One. Is he like their brother, or is he's, he like? He's from the same stock. Their... Um, yeah, know, but I mean, is he like their brother, like, or is he like they had the same mother and father? I'm talking. Mo I'm mostly talking bro fisting here. So you know, whatever. I mean, he's he's basically the same uh, the same sort of demon, and those sorts of demons are really rather rare. Right, let's see what happens when I hit this, smack that. It takes a couple tries sometimes for some reason, and it the stone turns into a fuckload of fucking shit. Okay, that diamond and ruby, the diamond and the ruby are mine. Beyond yeah. that, y'all have fun. I don't want gems <laughs> anymore. Then give them all to me. I'll take the. Diamond. I'll take the emerald, I guess. Whatever, just take whatever. I don't care. Just, uh, just click okay. like a fiend right now and just take what okay. you take. Uh, Why? I, I just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I just emulated the battle net experience. Oh man! Right now. Nice. Yeah. Have I used this ability good much? Mind blow. Make me happy. Talking about good gems. Something in the ass. Something in the ass. I don't. I don't know how that song goes. So you jump to in the ass. <laughs> yeah, that's just much. your default thing that wow. you think of, huh? Dude, butts make everything better. Gothic shield. <laughs> Eisenhart. Eisenhart's oh, berry. No. Yeah, it's shit. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh yeah, it is. Uh, oh right. Oh, it's a yeah. turd. There's another shield like that that gives like skills or something, right? It's a uh, Sigans. Here's the last waypoint of the act. Wow. Yeah, Sigons, Sigons is actually useful. Yeah, it gives plus skills, but it's heavy as fuck. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. It's kind of a short act. And um, I'm not sure how much of that's intentional. I wave hello to Hadriel. He's he's the last angelic entity we're going uh, we're going to see in this game. Yeah, it's weird. But the final but yeah, it's so. Um, we are forbidden from assisting you because it would ruin game balance. I mean, we're not allowed to by some kind of high decree by God. I mean, the game designers. I mean, yeah, God. Yeah, uh, they they never they never really elaborate on what on what treaty is there, and honestly, there's nothing more to it than what they say. There really is not. <laughs> you know, I mean, they 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 really should be able to assist us because this is the burning hells. They they this isn't sanctuary. They're perfect. They're within their rights to be here because there's a fucking war on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm shaking. I'm sort of like pursing my lips and shaking my head and kind of looking around. I'm you know, really it's in funny. agreement. I can recite Hadriel's lines like right now. Who's Hadriel? I clicked on him so much that angel. <laughs> okay. Just on. Wow, you clicked on that guy? Fucking weirdo. There's... Oh, when I was a kid, I clicked on him every time I went to the River of Flame. Did you click on him, like, every time before you went to bed, and you're like, Hey, Hadriel, I had, like, the weirdest day at school. 
proceed. <laughs> like, and, and he's like, <laughs> and he's like, <laughs> you have to open the five. Hidden by five seals. Only by opening each of these seals can you clear your way to the final battle. Wow, Hadriel! I never thought I of it that way. <laughs> I don't even get you sometimes, all the time. Yeah, when I was a kid, I had weird shit. It's all right. I'm a I think everybody was that, weird though. when they were kids. Most people are still weird now. Yeah. Yeah, we just do it different ways, like porn usually. Oh, that's cool. I mean... So for those of you waiting for it, this would normally be the time where I would talk about the boss, but where it's fucking Diablo. If you don't know about him by now, I just don't know what to tell you. So tell me about Diablo. No. <laughs> Why is it that sometimes my leech doesn't work? Sometimes it's like certain enemy types, like sometimes those uh, locusts. It don't work on undead. Ah, oh, that's so odd. Hmm. But I guess uh, life leech doesn't work on undead because they have no life to leech. Oh wow! Well. As well and, uh, as doom knight mon. Undead because they're walking skeletons. Oh, fuck. It's actually, they're classified. So I need to go find a venom lord to sort of discharge on. All these fuckers are undead. Uh yeah. Wow. Yep. Um, one kind of tidbit, these Oblivion Mages that we see, um, in, well, before this patch, actually, 1.13, they were much, much, much more dangerous because they could cast the Iron Maiden Curse, which would basically instantly kill anyone that dealt physical damage. Yep. I, and when he, when he says instantly, he fucking means it. You're talking like, I think, It's like I the think damage you deal returns to you or something, right? Yep. On to, uh, to the tune of about 200 to 300 percent of the damage you deal. That's, like, I cannot <laughs> believe that they shipped the game and left it like that for fucking years. Oh, it makes me man. wonder what they were doing the whole time. Basically, Blizzard North were, Blizzard North were pretty sadistic dudes. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are you supposed to do? Just lure guys out one at a time or just pick up Use a bow? Magic. That's what you were supposed to do. You were supposed to use magic, which is kind of a it, fuck you if you're a uh, if you're and a then barbarian. They, they don't give some classes magic at all. Maybe you can use war cry and whittle everything down for ten years. You just use strangling potions. Those you go work. back to town every time you get the curse. Or your javelin of craftsmanship. Hey that. <laughs> I've upgraded. I've got a war javelin of craftsmanship now. These guys um, have like a f flame hose, like an inferno. Like those little midgets in Act Three, and normally they're quite dangerous. But uh, since I've got hacks, I know exactly what items to give myself at a given time and how to get them. My fire resist is hella good, so like I can just sort of like walk right up to them, kind of just laugh at them, and then reach out their mana with my kick. Yeah, probably. Isn't it like seventy? It's like ninety, isn't it? Yeah, it's ninety. I'm seventy-five. Yeah, I've got hot. I've got hot spur boots that uh, that I got. All really right, look out for hot. look out for Captain Ocho. Captain He's Ocho. um extra strong. Don't you mean Captain um Lord DeSace? I meant he's, it's a he's show. talking about yeah. He's it's, talking about Lord DeSace. He's being funny because because Sace is seven in Spanish. <laughs> what? No, it's, it's six. six. I said, Cap I said you, Captain. I, I said Captain Spanish. Ocho. <laughs> it's come some. No, it's a sh it's me. a shout out to my boy with the snail avatar, whose name I can't remember. Numbers. If you ever watch the hundred percent speed run, they talk about Captain Ocho. He's real. He lives. This full helm has plus one combat skills for barbarians. Too bad I don't know any. Yeah, I mean. One of the problems with this game is that barbarians are useful and fun for everyone except for the barbarian. Yeah. God, I'm really scared about the next guy who's about to come up. I won't spoil his name though. Uh, it's not Diablo. He's he's been one of the most lethal people on the Burt, much to my amusement. Yes. It's actually Which is funny after I tied to him on my first paladin character, there were just a string of deaths against him. Yeah, people just can't learn. They can't learn the proper strategies. They can't learn how to keep their shit together. No, I've no, memorized no. which one summons the dude, and it's the far one. So you can open up... Someone can open a portal in the middle if they care to. I did. Okay, great. I guess I'll do this. It's the Inspector of Souls. He's quite... Infector. 
It's the inspector of souls. <laughs> and he's going he's going fast. But I mean I guess I don't know, I'm not really doing anything. I guess my people are busy working on him. And so I guess he's a lot easier since it's not just he's dead. In somebody Y'all else. shut the fuck up. This is the best line in the whole game. Okay. Not even death can save you from me. Ringtone! That was, my, that was my ringtone for a little while. That's so funny, dude. That's so funny, just because it's sort of like... I don't know, I imagine you, like, getting called in to, like, HR on, like, a harassment complaint. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, fuck! I just it's got a lot bigger than like the Diablo 1. A lot bigger. Push over, to be oh my god. Oh, you just shit. he's he's got one attack that fucks you. It's called lightning hose. What's my odds to hit him anyway? Two thirds. We, sort of we all had mercs before we started fighting him. Mercs sure. do not know how to survive. They'll just walk butt first uh, into his lightning hose. They never know no. how to survive. Quadruple damage from act bosses. Yeah. Absolutely ridiculous. Oh shit. It's alright. Gonna... I just gotta hit this fucking guy someday. That's a pretty nice attack you got there, Cirky. <laughs> Down he goes. Him. Nice. Oh, demon hide. Broadsword, that's Eisenhart's parry. Er, oh, no, I can't no. carry the motherfucker. Eisenhart's something. This is so like um, battle net. Light brand. Alright. Piece of shit. Have... Don't check out an item that I got, got from. An... Shut up, shut up. There's a really cool part right here. Oh. Yeah. You hear that? The Tristram theme. The chord. Yeah, the Tristram theme uh, theme chimes in for a minute as Diablo dies. I always thought that was one of the coolest bits of audio direction in any game ever. Yeah, for sure. It's like the most... I'm sure I've jizzed about it before, but it's like the most sort of powerful, identifiable sort of game theme, like tone. Beyond. Have I mentioned it the most? Have I mentioned before that uh, that Blizzard still Blizzard's um, QA department or not QA uh, helpline still uses it as their holding music? Yep. You mean the whole song? Yeah. The, they use the Tristram theme as their as their holding music when you're waiting for when you're waiting for somebody to to pick up your call. Man, what a fucking achievement, though! You know, to create a song that's so iconic. I mean, mm -hmm. I actually looked into this dude. His name is Matt. Yulman, I think that's how you pronounce it. He did the music for this game. I saw an interview with it. I might put it up. I might have put it up in the Diablo 1 thread because I was quite interested in it. I'm going to let Kane talk to me now. Congratulations, hero. Surely even Diablo himself sensed the fury unleashed when you smashed his brother's soul stone. I knew there was great potential in you, my friend. You've done a fantastic job. Though my ancestors often struggled against the three evils and their minions, I've always lived a shut-in scholarly life. I'm glad that my wisdom aided you. Now, I wish to leave this place. Though heaven's gates are a marvel to behold, I hope I won't have to see them again for many, many years. Please, talk to Tyrael about leaving this place now. Pretty powerful moment. Let's see the shit that we got. Um, I got this stuff called Demon Hide Gloves. It uses the uh, sprite for leather gloves, and it's called an exceptional item. The idea is that, you know, when you get late in the game, shit starts rolling around. You get gloves that look like leather gloves that are better than gauntlets and stuff, and just sort of keeps going like that. So you get eventually gauntlets that are way, way better than, you know, what you might have gotten in normal mode or whatever. And these are decent. They've got Amazon skills and they've got gold and I don't know. It's actually if if I weren't an Amazon, which I'm not, then they'd be pretty useless, so I'm probably gonna ditch them. Let me have a look. Let's see. Got some rare blade talents with a little lifesteal. I guess I'll just sort of keep them around for shits, but I don't really see myself using them because I've got enough lifesteal. Yeah, those are pretty useless. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you just get into the habit of keeping around things that you don't really need. That's what a mewling app can do to you a bit, though. Yeah. And I, I just sort of end up with a full inventory at all times. 
of chip gems. Like I've got uh, some dope potions, some keys, a few arrows. Speaking of gems, I just wanted on record that I stole the shit out of that Hellforge drop. Yeah, you did. Let's see what Tyrael has you. to say. Praise be to the light. You have accomplished the impossible. Diablo and Mephisto have been banished back into the black abyss that spawned them, and the corrupted soul stones are no more. However, while you were fighting here, Baal remained behind in the mortal realm, building an army of hellish minions. Now Baal's army is searching for the world stone, the ancient source of all the soul stones and their power, while leaving behind a wake of destruction. They have forged deeply into the barbarian homelands, heading directly for the summit of Mount Arya. Bale knows, mortal hero. That is the very site of the Blessed World Stone. Now, enter the portal I have opened for you. It will take you to the barbarian city of Horogoth, the last bastion of order on the slopes of Arya. All right, cool. Might as well res my merc right now. It's still relatively cheap to do so. And uh, I think that might be it for this little chunk of things. We're going to step through this portal and go back into another vast unknown. Um, the one thing I'm curious about is uh, that spell you were using earlier, cool guy. Huh? Frozen Orb? Yeah. Did we talk about that? Oh. Oh, I haven't really. Uh, it, it's it's my level thirty spell, and it's my end game spell for a cold, uh, for a cold sorceress. Basically, and the the highlights are that it does a ton of damage with uh, where it detonates, and it's way 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 more reliable than Blizzard. I'll talk about the semantics of of it next time we go out. Okay, cool. Well, thanks y'all for hanging around for this session. Thanks for watching. I'll see you around. Peace.